Okay, this how-to video is going to talk about kind of text and, and line thicknesses when you're processing Gerber data. Um, so by default, if you draw things like rectangles or you add text, um, what normally happens is the thickness of those items is effectively zero or one pixel. Um, and when you process these with Gerber, what happens is effectively anything that's zero doesn't get processed in the Gerber data. So you, you might find that your silkscreen outline wouldn't have this type of information contained in it. So there's a few methods to kind of correct this. Um, firstly, what you can do is if you go to the the manufacture artwork function or artwork menu. There's a there's a setting here for undefined line width. So what it does is basically finds any any setting that it finds that has an undefined line width or a zero line width, it would use this default value of 0.254, for example. Now this is an artwork film by artwork film basis. So you can notice a couple of times it does go zero. So what you would need to do is effectively select the artwork film and then specify the value that you wanted to override this zero value with. Okay. And obviously, that's the first time when you create artworks. Um, there is a setting inside PCB Editor. So if you go to Setup and use the Preferences, and down here, if we do a search for, for artwork, we'll include the summary. There is an, an artwork undefined line width setting. So we could set a value here. And basically, any new artwork we create going forward would have that default setting. So we wouldn't have to worry about it ever again. So that's one kind of default way to, to look at it. The other thing is to obviously look and, and set these values properly so you haven't got to worry about doing this. So if we look under the, the setup design parameters, if we go to the text tab, there's a setup text sizes button to which we can select. And there's something called the photo width. Obviously at the moment, the photo width for the text box I have, zip text box three is zero. So if I specify a value here of 0.152, we'll click OK. When I hit apply now, OK. You'll notice that this text then gets some actual thickness applied to it. So when I then process the Gerber data, um, it's not zero, so it's going to process correctly. The next thing we've got is obviously we've got some silkscreen lines. So by default, what I would say is add lines so that the lines have a proper thickness too. So when you draw an add line, if we did an add line command, for example, and look at the options menu, the line can specify a line thickness when we draw that. Or what we can do is we can effectively, let's just cancel that. Um, I can hover over a line, so let's do a, well, let's use the, the change command, or in fact, let's use the hover method. So if we go into general edit mode, we'll pick lines, we'll hover over the line, we can effectively get the line, do a right click, change width, specify the value, 0.15, click OK, and then I then get a thickness for that line. Um, ideally, you should be doing this in the symbol, so I mean, if I've got this in the symbol already, if I go back to... Uh, to placement edit mode, hover over the symbol, I can do a refresh symbol instance and actually get this to update. In this instance, I've actually got the silk screen missing, so if I did a right click, let's do it done on that. So get the symbol, right click, refresh symbol instance, I get my silk screen line back in. Um, in this instance, what I've got, let's try and edit change this time. So what we'll do is we'll go edit and change We'll set our, our line thickness to be 0.15. I just want to use lines uh, and I can draw a window around the items that I have. Now what's happened is it's changed this, but it hasn't changed the outer one. This is because this was drawn as a rectangle. Um, so add rectangle command, you can't add a thickness to a rectangle. So in these instances, what you'd have to do is go back to the symbol and just use the add line method to draw the shape that you needed. So package geometry, silk screen top, specify the thickness 0.15. Once that's done, my silk screen's then ready for me to kind of go and process.